Omni. Omni is a five-month-old black rhino calf abandoned Omni. by his mother. Omni. If the rangers Omni. here at Lewa Downs in Omni. Kenya hadn't found him, Omni. he would certainly have died. Omni. But hand-rearing a baby rhino isn't just a question of providing milk. For the next 18 months, Omni's rangers will have to try to fill his mother's shoes. Apart from the four hourly feeds, they must keep him clean and healthy. Rhinos are magnets for parasites and poor Omnis covered in them. In the wild, ox peckers pick off fleas and ticks, but with people around, they won't give Omni this kind of attention. Although it's good for him to build up some immunity to the diseases ticks carry, Omni is definitely overloaded. Luckily, he's got a friend, an orphaned warthog, Digby, who's only too keen to offer his services. However deep the ticks are hidden in the cracks and crevices of Omni's skin, Digby can root them out. Omni. Omni has a strict daily routine, as close as possible to that of rhinos in the wild. Once he's been debunked, it's time for a different kind of light relief. By mid-morning, temperatures soar, and there's only one way to keep cool. It's great for Omni to have someone to share a mud bath with, but warthogs and humans are no substitute for other rhinos. For a wild calf, these first years with their mother are a crucial part of growing up into a healthy, balanced adult. It may look like mucking around, but the calf has serious lessons to learn. The basic do's and don'ts of how to be a rhino, like how to treat your elders. Unfortunately, in a year or so, Omni will have outgrown Digby's company. Omni gets the best care possible, but he has lost the single most important relationship of his life. This may mean he won't know how to relate to other rhinos in the future. Wild black rhino bulls are aggressive towards younger males, and there's no way of telling whether Omni will know his place. His first meeting with a big male could be his last. <laughs> 